In this video we're going to go take a look at more of the horizontal line tools. And the horizontal line tools are going to be under the open roads modeling again. We're going to be looking under geometry. In the horizontal tools we have lines. That's where we're going to be looking at. I'm going to be back in our um, our drawing here of horizontal geometry introduction. So we're still in that file and we're going to take a look at this simple line to element. Okay, down here at the bottom there's a little note it says during the operation of the command the keyboard alt key can be used to switch between alternate solutions. So when you do a simple line to an element it's going to draw an element that's tangent uh, to this arc and there'll be two solutions. You can either go one direction or the other and hitting the ALT key will switch between those. Okay, it says when the skew angle is locked, which you can do with these tools, pressing the ALT key switches between the two alternates. So even if you have an angle locked in, it'll switch between what's available. So let's work with that tool a little. We'll go under lines line to element and we're just going to take a look at this simple line to element. Okay, so let's locate the element that we want to uh, draw to. So that'll be this arc. We'll left click on it. Now it gives you uh, an options here um, to go direction or solution one or solution two. You can also look at the dialog here you can see that you can have feature definitions going or not. And you can trim and extend back if you would like or none. So I'll go ahead and set that to back. And then when you come out here on the screen, let's say that you want solution 2. So right now it's giving you solution 1. You hit Alt on the keyboard. You may have to hit it twice. That very first time you may have to hit it twice. And then it'll switch to number 2. Then all you have to do is left click where you want to end that. You can snap to an item, you can key in uh, a direction and distance with uh, your civil AccuDraw like we learned in the first portion of Horizontal Lines or you can simply left click a location. That's going to draw a line that's tangent wherever you left click to that arc. And then our trim and extend option here is set it back so if I left click to accept that it will trim that back. At the time of creation of this exercise or these uh, videos, this arc that you're drawing to for trimming would need to be a civil element. So it couldn't be a regular microstation arc. It would have to be an arc from the horizontal geometry area uh, inside of ORD. Okay, so that's simple line to an element. We're going to slide over and take a look at line between arcs. So that's your next tool underneath open roads modeling geometry go to horizontal and we're going to go to the lines tool and we're going to do the next one down line between arcs. So pick that tool the dialog has a few other options in it now instead of just doing trim and extend both you have the option to do trimming ahead or both. Let's set that to both for this one we also have start and end offsets. So if you didn't want to be right on the two elements, you could give it a start or an end offset. If you want it to be right on the elements, which in this case we're going to do it right on the elements, you can put zero in the start, zero in the end, and you can lock those in. Then whenever you're out on the screen, it'll ask you for the offset. All you have to do is accept the zero that you have plugged in here. Um, you have, you're going to have a couple different solutions to choose from. Again, the Alt key is going to allow you to switch between them. Uh, then you've got your transitions. If you're going to have any kind of transitions, uh, you can do that here. You can set how that transition would be, whether you're going to do a length um, or you're going to do some of these other options like an A value, an RL value, deflection, offset, or none. Okay, So if you don't have any back transition, you can set it at none. The head transition is the same way. The length is zero, so it's basically going to be none for this particular one. But it kind of acts like a spiral. It's going to give you a, a short distance length line uh, in between where you select these two 
arcs. Again, you can do a feature definition and you can give it a name. So the way this one works is you come out and select one of the arcs and then it's going to ask for that offset which we already have plugged in so we can accept the zero with a left and then we pick the other arc again it's going to ask you for uh, an offset so we can accept that zero and now when I move the mouse around it is trying to solve between two and three so you hit the alt key I had to hit it twice there again it'll switch between four and one so every time you hit Alt, it's going to switch which one it's trying to go between. So let's say that we want to do number 3. We'll hit the Alt button until we get to 3. And then it's going to ask for the back transition length. We'll accept that at 0. And then it's going to say Trim or Extend. We've got it set at both right now. If you don't, you can hit the down arrow on your keyboard to get it to both. And then just left click to accept it and it will create that line in between them. You can kind of see as you hover over these arcs it remembers how it was created. It remembers those partial lines. What that's good for is if you get the element selection tool uh, you can come in here to this line and you can get the properties of it. In the properties there's a trim and extend option in here so if I wanted to change that to none you can do that and the program remembers how it was created and it'll switch it to not doing any trimming at all. Okay, the next tool is the simple line from element. So in our drop down for lines, we got line from element, and we're doing just that first one, simple line from an element. And the dialog kind of looks like the last one, except for we can do an end distance if we want. We're going to trim it back. We don't have any feature definition, but we can give it a name if we want to. Come out here on the screen it says what is the element that you want to choose uh, to come from. So I'm going to select that arc. And now it wants a start point. So before we were given an end point it would make it tangent. Now we're going to give it a start point to go from. So we'll just come down here on the bottom part of this arc, left click to start it there and then wherever you left click you are drawing a tangent line out that direction. This is where that end distance comes in. If you had typed that in and set it, then it would already lock you in at that distance and you can accept it. As we move out, it's going to have an end distance in there. You can also type it in at this point. So if I wanted to go 500 feet, we could do 500. Enter that in, that'll lock it, and then just left click to accept it. And that'll draw a 500 foot line tangent to wherever you selected on that arc. The last portion of this is to trim and extend. We've got it set it back right now so we can left click to trim it back. Okay, The tool is going to continue on and let you pick more items to draw from if, if you wanted to. So we'll hit F4 to get out of any tool and we'll do this last one in our horizontal lines. The chamfer between points. So we'll go up to lines We'll go to chamfer between points. And this one has all kinds of information you can set up in the dialog box. What your offsets are from the lines that you choose, what the chamfer angle is, what the approach length is, and then you can do radiuses in here as well if you wanted. Right now they're set at zero so they'll be squared off. But if you wanted a 45 degree line in here and you wanted curves on the uh, where it connects to the two lines, then you would have a back and a head radius. Again, feature definition and names can be given to this line that's going to be crawl, uh, crossed in here. Okay, our trim and extend, if we have that set at none, it'll leave that corner piece in there for you. If you do both, it will go ahead and cut it off. Our start offset, I'm going to go ahead and put zero in here. Same thing for our end offset. For our chamfer angle, I'm just going to type in the 45 and tab so that'll be a 45 degree angle and our approach length we're going to have it 200 so that'll be about 200 in either direction to create that 45. I'll leave my back and the head radius is at zero so we won't have to mess with those. We'll come out on the screen and ask us to pick our elements so I'm going to left click on the vertical line it wants the offset so I'll just left click to say no offset 
locate the second element. We've got that also keyed in at zero. So all we have to do is left click to accept no end offset. Okay. Our approach length is 200. So that's down from that corner down 200 and over 200 since we have 45 degrees. So we go to the location where we want to place it. You can see I can move all the way around and it'll try and put it in any quadrant. Uh, we want it in the quadrant here where our line is making an L shape. So our approach length is 200. We're going to accept that with a left. And then uh, we won't have any back radius. So we'll accept that. And then we can trim both with another left click. And then we've created a chamfer in here. So it doesn't have to be 45. You can make it whatever uh, degree of angle that you would like. And it will create that for you. Okay, so that concludes the horizontal lines section.